so many different answers. First of all, Protestantism began with an attempt to separate theology from philosophy. So there's a long tradition which it still deeply affects both Lutheran and Calvinist uh, thinkers, which creates this speculation, excuse me, this suspicion of a speculative interest and tries to develop theology without reference to philosophy. So there it's simply that process thought is one form of philosophical theology and philosophical theology is not the way in which faith should express itself. On the uh, Catholic side, during the Vatican II aftermath, there was a great deal of interest in Teilhard, of course, and then Teilhardians were typically interested in, in Whiteheadian process thought. Teilhard is also process thought, of course. So there was a burgeoning uh, interest, and that was um, reduced or um, restricted by Vatican decisions, so that there are, of course, Catholics who have, who remain interested, and David Tracy has never repudiated his process interests, but they are not highly visible in his more recent writings. So only a few are, what should I say, self-avowed practicing process theologians, <laughs> to, to put it that way. So I think that's, that it, that's really a decision of the, of the church, that this is not the way to go, and that some form of Thomism is, is to be favored. So the, the places where process thought has less resistance are among Episcopalians and Methodists and Free Church Protestants. And uh, there it has had a following, uh, say among Methodists, I'm a, I'm a Methodist. Uh, the influence of the Reformation theology is still very strong, and the suspicion of speculative thought is reinforced by many more recent developments. In the linguistic turn, for example, which is of enormous importance, of course and the fact that uh, very few of one's philosophical colleagues would be interested in speculative philosophy tends to make a sophisticated graduate student think that's not the direction to go in theology. I mean, why, why add to the burden of being a theologian in a uni <coughs> university the additional burden of adopting a philosophy that is not accepted in philosophy departments? <coughs> So there are many reasons, I think, why process thought is not in. <laughs> but nevertheless, in, among Methodists, among disciples, uh, among uh, Unitarians especially, and among um, some Episcopalians, process thought has, does have a following. I mean, it's not, it hasn't, it hasn't bombed out altogether or disappeared from the scene. Yes. 